represents Colton very well. Our legislators, Congressman Pete Aguilar, Assemblyman Rochelle Brown, State Senator Connie Mayba, Board of Supervisors, Josie Gonzalez, thank you all. This project would not be possible without you looking forward and making sure this is completed. And today, in a little while, when we break that ground out there, it will be completed. So I appreciate that. Right now, I'd like to acknowledge a few of them that are here, took the time out of their busy schedule to come here and be with us today. U.S. Congressman Pete Aguilar. State Assembly Member Cheryl Brown. Former State Senator Bill Emerson. San Bernardino Associated Government President Ryan McEwen. And County Board Supervisor, 5th District, Josie Gonzalez. We are at the event protesting. Congressman Pete like Aguilar, sandbag event. That every day I work with to bring Colton a better place to live, work, and play. Councilmember David Toro from the first district where this uh, bridge the replacement will be happening. <laughs> second district councilwoman Summer Jordan Zamora. <laughs> and as we don't know, she's the daughter of former Mayor David, David Zamora, and former Mayor Sarah Zamora. I'd like to thank your mother, Sarah. In 2011, she brought the vision and help to make this possible today. So please, she's not here today, but when you go home, thank her for us. And again, Council Member Frank Navarro from the 3rd District. I'd also like to uh, welcome on a new, a new uh, team basis, I should say, bringing Colton and the Arrowhead Regional Community together, bringing Colton and the Arrowhead family together, the Arrowhead team of Arrowhead found, uh, Foundation President Zach Tucker, <laughs> Gilbert Pease from Arrowhead, Jobs, job opportunities, 
in our region, and this project will do just that. This five-lane bridge will help make our community a little safer, opening up channels to Arrowhead Regional Medical Center, and we know the important role that ARMC plays uh, in our regional economy. Improving mobility and connectivity to San Bernardino County families isn't just an economic issue, it's a safety issue. Bumper Avenue Interchange is an important investment in our community, and I applaud our local leaders for having the foresight to make this possible. Ensuring safe and accessible roads, rails, and bridges is not just something uh, that we can take for granted. It's something we have to invest in and focus on every day. Band-Aid solutions to transportation and infrastructure just won't work, and that's why I'm proud to support continued investments in our local projects such as this, and I'll continue to do so. Congratulations on the groundbreaking for this important project and for your continued diligent work. Thank you so much. Our next honored speaker is a dedicated, hardworking State Assembly member, Cheryl Brown.